Jim. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. This is nice. The uh, place is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it really is. My first time on, on board, too. Oh, you've never been on the General no. Jackson? I understand that uh, in another part of this complex, you were over Saturday night to sing at the governor's inaugural. Now, I was there, but I don't recall seeing you. You must have been on late. Yeah, I was pretty late. It was about pretty close to midnight. Yeah, yeah I, we sure I were. I about 10.15. Yeah. Did you ever see so many people at the Opryland Hotel oh, in your I life? Oh, a mob. Had to park like a mile away <laughs> and walk in through the rain. But we were in the presidential ballroom with a country music all-star lineup. And uh, they say we had 18,000 people. My That's word. a lot of people to put in that presidential ballroom. Do you, how, when you go out and work on the road, do they introduce you as Jim Glazer of the Glazer Brothers? No, actually not. Um, even, you know, though the brothers reunited in 1980 for about four years, I do a, a Glazer Brothers song in the show and talk about the brothers, but I haven't found that they... See, so many me. people ask me when we have you on the show, well, what happened to his brothers? And one, a lot of people don't realize the act broke up and is no longer a viable right. act. Yeah, well, we broke up, you know, in 1973, and we broke up for about seven years, and we each went different directions. Then we reunited in 1980 and toured some more. The Glazer Brothers uh, were a very hot brother act or group back in the era when groups weren't hot. Yeah, groups uh, were not accepted the way that they are now, so we were, as well as trying to break it as an act, we were also trying to make some inroads so that groups could be as popular. You know, the Beatles kind of did that in rock music. They were the first really big group to make it in rock and made way f so that other acts could be, you know. In, in, those early, in those early award shows, when they would announce the nominees for best group are, who would it be? Well, in the early days, it was, you know, there wasn't the group category. First, it was duet. And then later, there was the group category. It'd be Statlers and probably the Willis Brothers and the Jordanaires, who were primarily a backing group. But in the early days, those were the I was thinking the of the group. Wilburn Brothers. Wilburn Brothers. Lubin Brothers. Lubin, yeah. Duo or group, that's, that was the uh, category. It was together as one category. And then uh, with Alabama, we had a group explosion. Yeah. And Jim, well, the Statlers really started it. Yeah, they, well, they won that category for so many years. Yeah, right. I must tell you, in case you don't know, Jim Glazer, after leaving his brothers, went on to become a great solo star with many hits. How many times have you been in the top ten by yourself? Oh, probably about eight, I guess. Seven or eight. Not bad for the little brother. <laughs> not bad, and I'm not through yet either. <laughs>